All right, how's it going, everybody? Jason Clark here, EXP Realty. Uh, hey, look, uh, welcome once again to Red State Relocate. Glad to have you here. Hey, look, if you're a homeowner uh, living right now in a, in a blue city or in a blue state and you want to get the heck out of there and go move yourself to Red State America, where, as I say all the time, you go live the life that you deserve. Look, you let me know. I'll be happy and glad and honored to work with you. All right, I have a, a, a team all across this country, no matter where you are, I'd love to work with you. Now, look, personally, I'm licensed out of California. Here in California, I would love to personally help you sell your home and go move to a wonderful state like Texas or Tennessee, Idaho, wherever you want to move to, okay? And look, and if you're a realtor, you like to be a, a referral agent here, you like to get on my list of agents that I work with nationally, I'd love to hear from you too. And of course, if uh, you're looking for a good brokerage, uh, I'd love to have you on board at eXp, okay? Uh, but hey, look, uh, let's get to it, everybody. I, I know it's been a little while since I've made a video. Uh, it's actually been two months, almost to the day, two months. Uh, June 7th was my last video, and uh, you know what? I took a little break, all right? I took a little bit of a break. Uh, summertime hit, and I said, you know what? I hadn't had a vacation in a while. I uh, hung out and went and visited some family, visited my mama. Hadn't seen mom in a while. Hadn't seen some friends in a while. And, uh, you know, look, I just kind of took my foot, you know, off the gas pedal a little bit. But, hey, look, here's the deal. Uh, we have uh, a pretty exciting, I will say, uh, election coming up. And uh, ever since Joe Biden dropped out of this race, man, things have gotten really exciting, man. It got really exciting, got me pumped up. Uh, man, I'm, I'm into this. And so, you know what I decided to do? I said, man, you know, I haven't done a video in a while. Uh, I made a video a while back where I talked about how I wanted to do more videos regular. You know, I wanted to maybe do something every day uh, and then I didn't do it. You know, I didn't do every day. You know, you get busy with life and with work. Uh, but look, uh, I decided and I've got some accountability here. I got some people watching my back to make sure uh, that I do this. But hey, look, uh, this is why, uh, you know, you want to like and subscribe. All right. Uh, is because uh, I'm going to be doing a video every day, uh, Monday through Friday, I'll say, uh, uh, for the next uh, however many days until until election, okay? Until the election, uh, I'm going to do a Monday through Friday show, whatever podcast, whatever you want to call it here uh, on YouTube, and we're just going to talk about what's going on, all right? Uh, we're going to talk about what's uh, what's going down, and so um, I decided, I said, hey, you know what? Uh, what should I start with? You know what? What could be some topics, not only current topics of what's going on now, which we're going to get into. We'll talk about Kamala Harris, her VP pick, uh, you know, who we think she's going to pick. In fact, by the time you watch this, She'll probably have already picked that person because it's coming tomorrow, apparently. Uh, but uh, but I kind of wanted to go over uh, Donald Trump's agenda. Uh, what what is uh, what we call agenda? What we call <laughs> what the Republican Party or what Donald Trump's campaign is calling Agenda Forty Seven. All right, this is uh, a Donald Trump's uh, platform. It's uh, you know uh, I'll say married with. I mean, pretty much is now uh, the Republican Party's platform. And I thought, you know what? There's there's 20 topics. There's 20 policy positions that are proposed of what he plans to do uh, if and when, uh, when and if <laughs> he wins uh, the presidency. And so I thought, you know what? Look, there's 20 there's 20 policies. Let's take 20 days and let's talk about one policy uh, per day. All right. So if you're on board with that, man, grab a Coke. Get comfortable. You know me. I can ramble on for a little while once I get going. But uh, look, if you're watching this, I first I just want to say thanks for being here. Uh, you know, I haven't been consistent with these videos. Hey, that's life, right? I'm not a YouTuber. I'm a real estate agent, and I'm trying to help people move and, and do all that stuff. And I try to get here when I can. But I said, you know what? I'm in. Let's do this. And here's and here's uh, here's the fun part. So uh, I made a deal with uh, with one of my business partners here uh, at EXP. Here's the deal. The deal is that I'm going to be making videos uh, Monday through Friday. All right. We're going to talk about whatever. And this is why I need your support. I need your support. I need your help too. All right. I'm going to need you to comment and, and you know, just shoot me an email. Keep me engaged because here's the deal. If I miss one day, all right, Monday through Friday, if I miss one video, then I have to donate to Kamala Harris's campaign. That's right. I made sure that if I don't show up here and make these videos, that uh, there's going to be some pain, all right? And I don't want pain, okay? I don't want pain. You don't want pain. You certainly don't want me donating to Kamala, right? So leave a comment. Ask me a question. That way I can create new content and I'm not struggling to get these videos out, all right? I need your help. 
to get this done, ladies. <laughs> I need your help so bad because I do not want to donate to Kamala Harris. And here's the thing I was talking about my, uh, my partner about this. I said, the money is not the problem about donating. You know, look, I don't care, you know, whatever, uh, you know, we end up donating. Uh, it's really about getting my name on their list. You know what I mean? I'm gonna, my name is going to be on the Democrats list and I'm going to get phone calls and emails for the rest of my damn life from these Democrats. And I do not want that. All right. So I said, all right, look, we're going to push. We're going to do a Monday through Friday program here, a little show. I suck right now. That's fine. I don't care. But you know what? Maybe in a year from now, I won't suck so bad, right? We're, we're going to make this good. So uh, now that I've rambled on <laughs> long enough, uh, let's get to uh, the topics of the day, man. For, let's first start uh, with Agenda 47, Donald Trump's platform, his policy positions. Uh, number one, all right? To number one, today we're just going to talk about one. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, what he has is uh, seal the border and stop the invasion. All right. That is Donald Trump's number one. That was the first one about sealing the border. Look, we know if anybody uh, has uh, worked uh, you know, hard enough or how we say, I don't think anybody has worked harder to seal the border uh, in his first uh, presidential uh, term as, as, uh, as um, Donald Trump did. Uh, didn't succeed 100 percent. You know, he got a little bit done, not a lot. But one thing is sure during uh, Donald Trump's uh, presidency that uh, illegal immigration was down tremendously. And since uh, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris uh, took over, it has gone up tremendously. Now, uh, kind of what I wanted to talk about um, in regard to this uh, isn't so much the numbers and why it's wrong and blah, blah. You know, this many, there's 10 million, right? So far, it looks like during uh, Biden-Harris, it's been about 10 million people across the border. Uh, can I say illegal, by the way? This is a uh, YouTube um, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that because they'll probably give me a strike. You know, we know during election seasons that YouTube likes to start laying a hammer down on on conservative voices if uh, we say words they don't like. Uh, but they, look, they came uh, without permission. How about that? How about uh, unpermitted individuals uh, came uh, from the southern border uh, from many other countries too? It's not just Mexico. It's not just South America, right? We every country probably on the planet has had somebody come across uh, our southern border. We don't know who they are. Um, my point is this, is, is really about uh, a Democrat's plan, what, what their motivation is behind this. Um, I made a video about this. I called it the uh, Democrats' uh, Im immigration playbook. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll link that at the end of this video here. So you, we get into more detail in the other video. I'm not going to go into the whole thing right now. Uh, but uh, what I want to say is this, is that uh, a Democrats' plan, you know, what we hear a lot from people, especially Republicans, is saying, that the reason the Democrats are allowing uh, this many people to come into the country is because they want their votes. They want them to be voters. And they feel that if they get, uh, you know, all these different, uh, you know, people's citizenship and amnesty, that uh, they're going to be so thankful to the Democratic Party that they're going to therefore vote for Democrats. I 100 percent disagree with that. Uh, being a lifelong Californian myself, born and raised, I have seen exactly what the Democrats do. California uh, was uh, really uh, the the demo, right? It was uh, it was the, the the test case. I'll say, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, it was a uh, phase one. I'll say uh, for a lot of other blue states to look at and see uh, how they could go about uh, doing what California did. And uh, you know what California did was they didn't give amnesty uh, to uh, the people that came here uh, without permission. <laughs> All right. Uh, like I said, I'll link my other video. We'll go more into it. They don't want to make them voters. What they want is they want to make them uh, or to have ballots printed with their names on them. Okay. These are not, they don't want them to vote. They just want their names to be on ballots. All right. Ballots that they will never receive because they're not supposed to receive them. They're not here legally. Okay. So uh, believe me, Democrats do not want amnesty. Democrats do not want to have to pander to any groups. They, they, they don't have control over that. They can't control who votes for them. Democrats want control. And what they want is they want all these people with all these names, okay, all these people they brought in uh, to uh, eventually, and I go into it in my other video about how they go about the process of doing this, um, how they go about getting these folks' names uh, put on ballots. And these ballots are saved uh, until election day. And when uh, when they need those ballots, they print those ballots and those, those ballots count. All right, they count as votes. All right, so something to keep your eye on. Hey, look, this is a big part of, uh, you know, the, the game plan for, uh, for, the, for the Democrats. Um, it's brilliant. All right. Do I like it? No. It's, is it morally right? No. But look, Democrats don't 
They don't play the moral game, all right? They play they play to win. And that's why I call it the Democrats playbook on that video. Okay? This is their playbook. It's not about policy, all right? Democrats are not about policy. They don't want to put their policy against uh, someone else's policy and then we debate the merits and we see, you know, who has the better ideas. Baloney, all right? Democrats don't do that anymore. They do not want to have to convince anybody to do anything. What they want is they want to win elections and they will do whatever it takes to get that done. All right. I give them credit. They show up and they fight to win. All right. I think Republicans probably learn a lesson or two uh, from uh, from these Democrats about, you know, getting getting your elbows dirty. Get get in there. All right. Get in the mud. All right. Quit. You know, I, I would say all the time, like Republicans, they, they want the gold star for being the good boy. And oh, we ran a good campaign. Sorry, we lost, but we ran a good campaign. Yeah. But, yeah. Democrats don't care about that, all right? They don't care about winning or running good campaigns. They don't take moral victories, all right? What they do is they fight to win elections, all right? And, uh, and this big push, man, 10 million people have come into this country. And I'm telling you, that is 10 million ballots spread all across uh, these various states. And there's some other reasons, too, they're doing it, especially like uh, for electoral votes when you look at California. Uh, people who are not here legally, uh, they get counted in the census, and so when we do the next census here, and was it 20, 29, 20, 30, right in there, um, all these people who are still here without permission, um, they're going to count. They're going to count towards the population of that state, and that's going to count towards increased electoral votes, all right, for those states. And so uh, that's something to keep an eye on. So even like I think California has five, four or five extra electoral votes because of the illegal population uh, that's been, you know, imported there for the last, what, 30 years, okay? Um, so something definitely to keep an eye on, but there you go. Agenda 47, first policy, uh, seal the border, stop the invasion, all right? Uh, and now into our second topic, let's talk about who Kamala Harris is going to pick as her vice presidential candidate. Uh, like I said earlier, by the time you watch this, already going to be uh, picked. It's already going to be decided. Um, so I'm not breaking any news here. I know I'm uh, playing, uh, you know, back up here, right? So, uh, but uh, this is what I think. I'm just going to share what I think, maybe the good and the bad. Uh, by the time you watch this, like I said, we're, we're already going to be down this road. Uh, but uh, it, right now it looks like for, uh, for Kamala Harris, she's got two options, right? Her two best options are Governor Josh Shapiro out of Pennsylvania and uh, the Senator Mark Kelly uh, out of Arizona, Right. Betting markets. I think people, you know, I don't know, maybe with, you know, any political uh, I don't know, chops, I'll say, uh, political instincts uh, know that she's most likely going to pick uh, Josh Shapiro. Man, let's find out. Let's find out. You never know. Uh, today, the, the market really took a massive crash. Uh, we're down a thousand points today. Uh, OK. In, in the stock market. Uh, that could really impact things. I'm, I'm, I'm curious if whoever accepted the VP, maybe Shapiro accepted and then the market crashed today and he's like, you know what? Maybe I won't. We're definitely going to lose now. Uh, I don't want to be part of that ticket, but um, I doubt that uh, actually happening. But look, here's the thing. I think personally, uh, I think Josh Shapiro's probably the, the, the pick. Uh, it's the right decision. He's Pennsylvania swing state. He's popular. Uh, you know, uh, right now it's pretty clear that uh, Democrats are going to run the basement campaign with Kamala Harris, where they're just going to keep her low. Uh, you know, they know that the more they get her out there, uh, the dumber stuff she says, and the more ads can be made. Uh, they're they're really not confident in her ability to really uh, go out there and you know really be off the teleprompter. Uh, so uh, their goal is to continue to do that, and I think uh, bringing in Josh Shapiro. I was really going to cover kind of that uh, or fill that hole because uh, he's a really good speaker, right? He's, he's very uh, you know, magnanimous, I'll say. He's very much uh, like Obama. They call him the Jewish Obama, right? Uh, very well-spoken. He'll be out there. He'll be a great uh, advocate for her uh, out there on the campaign trail. Um, now, that's not to say that he doesn't come with a little bit of uh, downside risk, right? You know, when you look at uh, Donald Trump and he picked J.D. Vance, there wasn't a lot of downside risk with the guy, right? J.D. Vance is just kind of this milk toast Midwestern boy, right? Wrote a cool book, uh, made it a movie, got popular, became a senator, first term senator, bang, he's on the VP list, right? Or uh, he's the VP uh, candidate now. Um, really not a lot there, you know? There, like I said, there wasn't a whole lot of downside risk with, uh, with the J.D. Vance pick. Now, personally, 
I was pushing for Tulsi. You go watch my other videos. I was I was really on board with Tulsi Gabbard. I think she would have been a fantastic, fantastic vice president. But um, but the reason for JD Vance is that that Rust Belt, right? Those those Midwestern swing states, man, all the way from Minnesota uh, to uh, um, you know down to Georgia, really. Um, very, very important. And, you know, and that includes Pennsylvania and Pennsylvania is huge. And so, um, bringing on Josh Shapiro is probably going to lock, uh, Pennsylvania in for, uh, for the Democrats, but back to that downside risk, you know, you're looking at possibly losing Michigan now, because look, let's face it. The democratic party is filled with a, a very, very loud. And I don't know if I'm going to say big, and well, I, this is what we're going to find out. This is what I'm curious of, uh, but they they have a very loud, uh, I'll say anti-Semitic wing portion of their party, and and Democrats, you know, especially Joe Biden in the past, has really been pandering to them, you know, with the squad, right, uh, and who they represent, and so, uh, you know, we got to find. I'm I'm curious what's going to happen here. I'm, I'm really curious if by going with Josh Shapiro, a guy who's Jewish, it's really going to upset them, and they're already pushing back. They already have some groups saying they're not going to vote. Uh, for Kamala, if if she picks Shapiro, uh, John Fetterman's not even on board with the guy. Uh, but uh, I'm curious to see if they're really just loud, or if the Democratic Party is actually just going to say, you know what, we don't care if you're loud, we don't want you in our party anymore. And I think that would be great. Look, for all you Democrats out there, that would be fantastic. That'd probably be the best thing you could do as a party is to tell all those anti Semites in your party, okay, especially in Michigan, we know where they are, we know who represents them. Right. It would probably be a good idea to start telling them, you know what, we don't want your vote. Right. Go vote for somebody else. Don't vote for us. We really don't care. I honestly I think the Democratic Party would probably pick up a whole lot more support overall if they were to take that stance. But for some reason, man, they just can't take the stance. They got to pander. Look, Josh Shapiro already is kind of going back on some of his pro-Israel stances. He's already positioning himself to kind of um, you know, try to appease that uh, that wing of the party. I, I just honestly, I think that's a terrible, terrible decision. I don't know why you want to try to appease such hateful people, uh, but uh, but that's the game plan right there. All right, uh, uh, <laughs> Kamala Harris is going to pick Josh Shapiro. Uh, most likely, we'll find out. Um, most likely, going to pick him. She wants Pennsylvania really, really bad. But again, that downside risk is going to come possibly at the expense of Michigan. So Donald Trump could very well pick up Michigan. And look, Donald Trump picks up Michigan and Kentucky, right? He gets uh, uh, Georgia. You know, it's it's going to be a it's going to be a rough uh, a rough uh, electoral path uh, for the Democrats. But I you know, honestly, I think uh, Kamala Harris doesn't really have a choice. Uh, most likely not going to be Mark Kelly. I just don't see it. I, he's right, he's second a pick overall, uh, lot, like he's a little bit more moderate guy for sure, coming out of Arizona, uh, but uh, he also a senator, and uh, and if he was to vacate that seat, uh, that would uh, leave open a, a prime prime opportunity for a Republican uh, to gain another seat uh, in the Senate. And Democrats are, are going to fight tooth and nail uh, not to lose uh, any more seats, uh, in, you know, especially in the Senate. So, uh, so that's my pick. Um, look, I'm not. This isn't uh, rocket science. I guess I'll say that it's probably going to be Josh Shapiro. Uh, like I said, for the reason being, she wants Pennsylvania. He will probably deliver Pennsylvania. He will be a good uh, advocate for her out there on the campaign trail, uh, being uh, Obama-esque, giving these grandiose speeches, um, again, to keep her you know, out of the limelight. Uh, but again, we, we, we know vice presidential candidates don't move the needle too much. You know, even when J.D. Vance was announced, it was a big hoopla in the Republican Party. They loved it. And now nobody's barely even talking about him. Okay, he's out there. He's campaigning. He's doing his thing. Uh, but he's really not. Uh, he's not the top of the ticket. All right. And so they're going to bring out Shapiro. He's going to get attention. Everybody's going to love him. All right. And Democrats are going to get a big bump for sure. They're going to get that post, uh, that that post, uh, um, what do you call it, a convention. <laughs> Uh, see, man, it's my first video. <laughs> it's my first video in a while. And look, if there's one thing you know, I don't edit, all right? I might I might cut the video real quick because I had to dab my forehead. But uh, I don't edit all this stuff out. I'm just turning on the video. I'm just talking to you all, all right? Because, look, I said I was going to turn it on. I said I was going to yip-yap with you all. And uh, and that's what I'm doing, all right? So, uh, so I'm just going to leave it at that for today, y'all. I'm just going to leave it at that. Uh, look, uh, 
if you're still watching, I appreciate you. I thank you for watching, for hanging out with me. Um, as always, uh, you're a homeowner. You want to sell? Let's go. I'm going to help you get out of there. Uh, you, all my information's in the, in the description. And uh, look forward to uh, doing this every day. We're going to ramble. We're going to talk about the news of the day. And, hey, let's uh, let's stir it up. Let's, let's push this thing. Let's push this rock to the election. And I highly encourage you, too. I highly encourage you, whether you're a homeowner, whether you're a realtor, right, whether you're a renter, I don't care. All you conservative Republican voices out there, mostly who watches my channel, highly encourage you to make your voice heard, too. All right. Make your voice heard. It doesn't have to be on, on YouTube. Get on Twitter, right? Get on Instagram. Talk to your friends, your family. Okay. Don't, don't be worrying about upsetting people and, and your friends being mad at you. Okay. If your friends are mad at you because you support Donald Trump, were they really your friends? You know, are these really people you want in your life? Someone who wouldn't, doesn't want to talk to you because, uh, because you support a different, uh, you know, politician than them because you have a different, uh, football team than they do. They, because you don't go along with what they go along. They don't, they don't want to talk to you. So, you know, look, you're, you're going to find out real quick, you know, who your friends are. All right. And, and that's going to be a really, really, uh, good thing. So, all right, look, I'm rambling on long enough. That's good enough for day one. Thanks a lot, everybody. Have a good day.